Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Barb and Sandy, who are here on behalf of Theater Guild. Well, ladies, welcome. It's very nice to see you both. Great Thank to you. see you again. Now, I know the Theater Guild is going strong, and I'm very happy to hear you guys were able to maintain everything and, you know, get together in a roundabout sort of way. So I think people have adapted quite well. So congratulations on that. And then I know you have a couple of things that are coming up. So, uh, Sandy, why don't you go ahead and start us off and let us know what's upcoming. One thing that we're very excited about is we finally get to perform live. Now, some people say, what? But it's really going to be great. It's on, on November 7th at Clubhouse 5. Thank you to Recreation for helping make this happen. They have a, a really nice small stage and uh, people will be able to drive in. And if they choose to bring chairs, they can actually sit outside their car. And it's actually a revisit and an update of what we did, oh, maybe three years ago, the Johnny Carson show. So there's a lot of skits and there's music and singing and it's really fun. The show will run a little over an hour and uh, we've been rehearsing and most of it's been rehearsing either on Zoom or actually in some people's patios where we could do our our good thing, you know, stay far enough apart. Yeah. And we will be very careful, but we will not perform with masks, but the stage is plenty far away from everything else. Okay. Uh, we're very excited. We've, we've had um, a real good response. We have 10 people in the cast mm. and uh, we're very happy because, you know, I think one of the frustrations people have is they want to get out. So yeah. this gives them a chance to begin that process and even though we've had our theater guild meetings on Zoom and some have been working out really well, we still want to get outside. So well, I, you can maintain an outdoor setting, I think is ideal and hopefully the weather will cooperate and things should be good. I mean, today was probably a nightmare for a lot of people this morning because the wind was so bad and some of those tents roll in a ball, you know, so you pray that you pray that 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 the weather will hold for you. So that's awesome. So that's going to be November 7th. And what time is that at? At two o'clock and it will and you do have to buy your tickets on active active net slash recreation. But I do want to mention this. Some people aren't as tech savvy as others, which is perfectly okay. But we give you, there's a number they can call if they don't want to do that and they'll walk them through it and help them to uh, register because it is a $5 fee that recreation is charging for you know, all that they're doing for us. So that number is 949-597-4284. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, good. Well, that sounds like a load of fun. Hopefully people will be able and to then what was that and it's it's a fun show and it's funny you know, and it's funny so uh Absolutely. and we've got some good singers too fun i love it all right great now barb's got something else that she wants to tell us about on november 19th thursday november 19th at the uh, theater guild meeting we will be presenting i am me first People say, what is I Am Me First? So very simply, it's a, um, a movement about real people telling real stories. So what we do is we ask people to reflect on a significant event in their lives and write a two or three minute monologue describing that event and how it's impacted them and shaped them to be the I Am Me that they are today. Mm -hmm. So um, we did it last year and we did it live. It was very well received and people wanted to see it again. So we're going to do it on Zoom. We're going to have 12 members do their I Am Me monologue. Mm -hmm. This year we've changed it a little bit and the theme is a holiday theme. So we've asked people to reflect on an experience that they've had over the holidays that has impacted them. So you'll hear it may be funny or sad or um, just something memorable that people want to talk about that has impacted the way they see their world and the way it has shaped them as a person. So mm -hmm. we're really excited to uh, watch these 12 monologues, as I say, on November 19th. We invite members and non-members to view it. 
And if you would like to view it, all you need to do is send an email to theaterguildlw at outlook.com and we'll then send you a Zoom link. So we look forward to seeing everybody on the 19th. So that, so that is something that you're going to be performing via Zoom live, and then people can dial in to whatever the link is that you're going to give them, so they can watch at the same time of you performing it, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Somebody thing, misses, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. One thing I just want to add, uh, we have a great guy that helps us with, with we actually film it. So it will be filmed, and there will be music, and some people will be able to provide pictures, and there, you know, so it, it becomes a real show. And uh, everybody gets a chance to rehearse before, and then we film it. And it's a lot more effective that way. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real uh, presentation, and it's uh, very theatrical and entertaining. So then will the people be able to watch it at a later time if they miss it? Um, yes, because we do film it, and it will be posted on the YouTube channel for The Village. Perfect. That's excellent. I mean, like I said before, you guys are doing a great job of staying busy, keeping, you know, connected because this is such an important time for us to be connected. And yet you're still able to have smiles on your faces. And that is so important. We're trying, Lisa. We're trying. We're trying. We're right, trying to spread the smiles, you know. Absolutely. And I, I was talking to Mark Rabinowitz not too long ago, and we're, we're talking about the kindness you know, campaign that they're really trying to do here in the village. And I think the more you guys can bring laughter and comedy to our community, the better. That's how we feel. We're very much on that road. That is awesome. That is great. Now, what else did you want to share with us about uh, what's going on going forward? Well, there's one other thing. Um, we're going to do another Reader's Theater, which we did in September. And again, we film it, which is great because it's more like a show, a real show. But we are going to send out emails for auditions and uh, we get people involved and they have a great time. And, and again, they're not, you know, even if they're doing it just on Zoom, uh, they're happy to be involved in doing something creative. And that's the big thing. Let's keep doing things that are creative, interesting and fun. Exactly, exactly. Oh, well, good. Well, thank you ladies so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Always, always lovely to talk to you guys. And uh, I wish you well and good luck on your performances. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Yes. And we'll be right back after this.